Welcome to the Young Crones Cafe, where you can get a magic brew full of all sorts of information, both witchy and practical. Grab a cup of coffee and join us. I'm Elizabeth, a wordsmith. And I'm Dave, a modern day sage. We are going to talk about various witchcraft and life topics from a slightly more mature perspective, at least most of the time. Thanks for joining us. Hello, everybody. Here's another little extra something for you guys between episodes. We're going to talk about magical kitchen herbs this morning. In keeping with our previous podcast extra, where we talked about the idea of more affordable witchcraft a few weeks ago, it seemed appropriate to remind people about common kitchen herbs that you probably have sitting in your home already, which can be used for all sorts of magic. There are basically two different ways that you can use those kitchen herbs in your cupboard for magic. Number one, you can use them as spell ingredients. You can make some part of an incense blend, put them into sachets and bottles, combine them on little things, rub them on candles, all sorts of things. And second, while you're cooking, you can think about the association or correspondence for this herb as you use it in a recipe or stick an extra pinch of something that's not even in the recipe. Be bold to get what you need. Here are some common correspondences that we have used over the years for all sorts of kitchen herbs. Allspice is associated with things like luck and health. Basil is associated often with protection, money, or wisdom. Bay is also used for protection and wisdom and is also used for success in business. Dill, like in pickles, use the pickle juice if you want, is often associated with money or wisdom. Garlic is most commonly associated with protection. Many people hang a braided rope of garlic in their kitchen for use. At the same time, you're protecting your hearth and home and you never even knew it. Lemon balm, which is often in many lemon teas that you can buy, is associated with peace. Marjoram is also so associated with peace, personal insight, and yet again, wisdom. Mint is associated with happiness and peace. Nutmeg is often used for luck. In fact, people often carry the actual nutmeg nut in their pockets for extra luck in court or when they're at a business meeting. Orange can be used for insight. So when you're drinking your orange juice in the morning, you're not only waking up, but you're getting your brain clicking with all sorts of things you might want to know. Parsley is also associated with travel and again, wisdom. Makes sense because parsley goes into many things and we can all use as much wisdom as we can get in this day and age. Black pepper or any kind of pepper is associated with courage and protection. Well, when you think about how pepper makes so many people sneeze, if you put too much of it in something, it makes sense that it would bolster you up. The lowly poppy seed is associated with increasing your personal health. Rosemary is used for success. Sage and thyme are both associated with wisdom. And vanilla, of course, is associated with love, which makes sense considering how many baked goods require that teaspoon or half teaspoon of vanilla. And don't forget about salt which has been associated with purification and protection for as long as anybody can remember. But when you think about it, at the end, cinnamon is the real workhorse of the kitchen. It has been associated with, and here we go, communication, focus for divination, love, luck, happiness, health, money, peace, protection, and success. So if nothing else, throw a little cinnamon into everything, you might come out ahead. However, the point is, there are all sorts of things in your kitchen that you can use for different kinds of magic. Just get a little creative. Even a wooden spoon has been associated with many kitchen witches as a quote unquote wand, or the fact that you can stir things in different directions to draw different kinds of energy to you or away from you. And again, this is just a partial list of things that we have used for over the years. And Remember, the most important thing is it has to make sense to you. So if you have an herb and it seems to call to you to be used for a particular purpose, go for it. Until next time. So, so be it.